As he often does, Biz Nasty Paul Bissonette caught a stray tonight in an interview with Connor Bedard. I'll just play it. I'll say a couple pretty good players on this panel, and, and Biz is here too. So. <laughs> this was hilarious, and I gotta say, Bedard was great all interview. Listen, no hate to McDavid, but he's boring. It's not his fault. He was like built in a lab dedicated to making hockey players. It's fine. But to be fair, on one occasion, he even got a little chirp in at Biz, who was pestering him about hot tubs, if I remember correctly. He told him, you're right where you belong on the panel rather than playing. One of my other favorites from this year, Brian Reeves, of course, took none of Biz's BS as he threatened to fight him and said, And you know what, Biz, you, you've been out of the league for so long, I don't even remember who you are anymore. All I know is you're, you're just a commentator that used to be some AHL bug. Like, what are we talking about here? You're real tough a couple states away. Yeah, get, get back on the ice and then we'll talk. Another great one from this year was Marshawn. He wondered where Biz is, asking whether he'd been hung over, and then said, Hey, 50 comes quick because it had just been his birthday. I gotta say, what the TNT crew is doing, basically emulating the vibe of inside the NBA, I think has been so great for hockey. Biz has these moments, whether it's saying water bottle bukkake or whatever else, that just go completely viral, and it's great to get eyes on the NHL. NHL players have such great personality, but it's often locked behind years of media training. Other than the rare case like Biz, it's often only coming out in mic'd up on ice moments. I think Biz on TNT is great, just like on Spit and Chicklet, I think the NHL would be lucky to have a few more of him running around.